Today we're going to review part number T3584F-8974. This is the Dexter trailer axle beam with the standard spindles. This is 89 inches long, has a 3,500 pound weight capacity. Now this axle beam will act as part of your trailer suspension system. You can use it to replace an axle on your trailer and you can also use it to fabricate a suspension to fit your application. It's made of a high strain steel construction. The other nice thing you might notice on axles, they will have a rise in the center of the axle. It's hard to see on this video, but basically it'll rise in the center and then go down. And the reason they do that, this will ensure the proper camber angle. In other words, this will ensure that the angle of the wheels on your trailer are correct for your towing needs. Basically this bend being higher, what will happen is when you put a load on the trailer and it weighs down on it, it'll actually straighten that axle out some and then it allows your tires to have even road to tread contact across the width of the tires. This is good for best for straight line acceleration and steady controlled towing. You also notice the spring seats, there's one on this end and one all the way down here on this end. Basically those are welded to the underside of the axle. This is for mounting your leaf springs to. And this, the underslung design is nice because it gives you the low ride height and that makes it easier to load and unload your trailer. If you notice the spindles, they are a straight spindle, there's no drop to them, and they are a standard grease application. It does include the castle nut, the D washer, and the cotter pin. We ship them with that all included. And when we do ship them, they are protected. They don't ship them just like this bear. What they will do is put grease over it to protect it, and then they'll bubble wrap over that, and then they'll have the corrugated tube that'll go over that and be wrapped around it. So it protects it from getting damaged during shipping. <clears throat> The spring seats down here, the brake flanges right here, the spindles, they are all welded on. And also if you'll notice there's wiring right here at this end, a loop of wire, and one down at that end. That's basically the wiring that goes through the axle that's used for your electric brake hookup. Now the weight capacity on this axle is 3,500 pounds. The tubing outer diameter right here is 2 and 3 8 inches. The spindle size diameter is 1 and 1 16 inches. And if you notice, I did mention it has the four bolt brake flange for connecting your brakes to. Now also, there are multiple ways to measure the length of an axle beam. But basically, the two most accurate ways are going to be hub face to hub face and spring center to spring center. Basically, the hub face to hub face is when you have your hubs mounted on each end. You'll measure basically from the base of the one wheel stud on one, head, one hub go all the way to the other side and measure to the base of the wheel stud on that opposite side of the axle. Now this axle, I do not have any hubs mounted on it, but just to try to give you an idea, I'm going to run this ruler where it's roughly going to be, you can see about 89 inches is where your hubs would run, hub face to hub face. And then the other measurement would be the spring center to spring center length, which on this one you can measure because the spring seats are welded to the axle. Basically, if you measure from the center of this spring seat all the way to the center of the one on the other end. And actually, this measurement will also give you the approximate width of your trailer. So basically, you can see when we do center to center, right at 74 inches. So basically, if you're replacing your trailer's axle, you should be able to figure out which type axle you need by determining the trailer's capacity, the bolt pattern of the wheels that goes on, that goes on the axle, the brake type, and then the two measurements I mentioned, the hub face and spring center lengths. But that should do it for the review on part number T3584F-8974. This is the Dexter trailer axle beam with the standard spindles. It's 89 inches long and has a 3,500 pound weight capacity.